Off we jolly well go. This has been redone, this track here, but I love this drove. Middlebrook Drove or Middleton Drove, whatever it's called. I, I just love walking on here. The old Somerset Walls, the beautiful views. There's an island man down there, see? So I went on that, but that's only, well, about, it could have been a year ago. I know I went on it. It doesn't even seem like a year ago. It could have been um, late autumn. Or it could have been early spring I'd done it. It's, I know I'd definitely done it though. The cows now have... They're moving about quite a bit actually. They're One minute they're in the bushes. Now they seem to have gone round the bushes and back round towards the, the tall trees. So they haven't gone up. They seem to come towards where the gate was, where I came through, which is about there. Some are still wandering over, but what they've that big group there have done, they're moving away again. They came up to those bushes, didn't take them long, walked round them, and now they've gone back that way. So you never really know what they're going to do. You can't really say, well, they're going to go that way. Because they've turned back on themselves. And these here, they're not even bothering to go into the bushes. They're turning around following them. So it just shows you. You could have waited up there. But then they might have come up. So that's Drake. That's Drake Hot Sights everyone. It was very hot when I was on the top. Yeah, they might be moving back towards the shade. It is quite hot. But this is such a beautiful scene here. Do you know what I mean? I just love this part of the walk. Whenever I do, even when I come back after a long hike and I get to this point, that is the quicker way down, but you do have to face some lively cows in the field down that way. And there's, there's cows everywhere, actually, but uh, they're definitely there, and I don't risk it in that one anymore because they were all around the gate once I had to do rapid diversions I remember that they just sat all around the gate you, in the style you couldn't get past them but I do love this but someone's been along and done some fresh gravel so it does get quite puddly along here but it's this is beautiful landscape Really, really is. And the cows, looks to me, they're going back towards the shade. They've realised that it's hotter than they thought. And there's also the water pan, of course, that they will have to drink out of. And the top one, they can't get to. So I expect they're staying near the watering hole. <sighs> yeah, I've got some great scenes from this drove. Different flowers at different times of the year. Not many blackberries. The blackberries haven't been very good this year because we had two very hot, very, very record-breaking heat waves. I think they dried a lot of the plants up and uh, some of the blackberries are smaller than my little fingernail. And uh, some, some aren't, they just aren't doing nothing. They're absolutely <laughs> tiny. Anyway, this is a nice walk. There's no panic. I'm still going to keep in my mind that the last bus is five o'clock, just in case. <clears throat> because the, uh, so many people were asking that bus driver. I think he got fed up, really, when, it, when I asked him. <sighs> I'm hoping that first bus has been round and pasted a new timetable up. Yeah, right over there, folks, right over there, that is Robero Warren that I've done recently, look. See? Done all that not long ago. A week ago, I was very close to it. I had to touch into it by the stream there. After I'd done um, 
some looking around for Banwell Hill Fort. It's just this just reminds me of childhood and all sorts of things. The scene. Turn it off for a minute. Take a picture. Okay. We didn't really get any good views of Glastonbury. It's uh, when you get a good view of that, it's brilliant. But most of the time, it's shrouded in mist. A lot of the time, it is. I mean, I cycled out as close as I could to Glastonbury, but you can't leave your bike anywhere this day and age. Right, and right over there in the reserve. Old mining area again, there's some ruins. There's some ruins there that was once a residence of a miner or maybe a farmer even. There's lots of evidence of that in that little place there. And that where mainly ponies live. Yeah, I saw a very fast cyclist coming down here a minute ago. It's a quick way if they know the way there's a gate at the bottom, see at the other end, you can nip over the. Instead of going all the way down to Cheddar, he can just, when he wants to go that way, you just nip over. But of course, he didn't have a mountain bike. I thought, God, I don't know your tyres are. Let's manage that terrain, you know, all the little stones and that. I managed to get some foam supports for the hills of me walking shoes. Last week I went on a bus, I had to go to Burnham on Sea to get them. Because there's a big group of ponies today. You don't often see them all gathered like that. That's a big group. God, there's a bloody cow in there. God, I've never seen cows in there before. They're mixing them with cows. I'm supposed to be going in that field. Don't know how that'll work out. God, there's more cows than bloody... That might be dodgy. Depends where they're walking. I've got to go past there yet. Might be. If they go down this way, I can skim around them. The ponies are moving off. The ponies are moving off. Never ever seen... I've never... Hold on, the camera's playing up a minute, just got to turn off. Right folks, there's a massive herd of cows in with the ponies. Now if they stay down this way, it's a possibility I can get over, but the thing is they might, they're still going to be in the territory where I normally walk. And I've got no idea if there's more of them. And they've got calves. I might have to risk the other way yet. I might have to risk the other way. I'm going to go up to the gate and then I'll decide. See how risky it is. And don't forget they move quick, cows do. At the moment they're down here, so if I can get up through the path and down across before they get that way, that'll be good. Oh, but there's cows everywhere. That's the only problem with the summer months. It does restrict the, the walking. The places. 
that are beautiful, but you can't do them in the summer. <laughs> oh, I've never seen them in there before. They're all down there at the moment. And some of them are sitting. Ponies be alright, I think. I'm not normally worried about the ponies. I'd have to get... I'd have to go round that way. As long as there ain't another herd. How do I know there ain't another herd? Further up, I could be trapped. We're nearly at the gate. In a minute. The cows seem to be concentrating. One's just spotted me. And the first one that's looked. Oh. Look, where are the ponies going? They're all going over to the gate. That could be a problem here. They might feel threatened. The, um, the ponies might feel threatened by having that big herd in there. They don't normally have to share. See, they're all going over to the gate. I can see me having to turn back in a minute. Trying to find another way out. I don't know if they've just delivered those cows. It's because like it shows you I haven't been here for a while. No, I haven't been here for a while, so I... They're all... The ponies are all coming this way. I don't know about the cows. I don't know if I can risk it. I don't know if I can risk it yet. Maybe the cows have got in by mistake. The ponies are all going that way. Oh, they're all going over there. I reckon they've got in by accident, those cows, you know. I'm going to turn off for a minute. 